Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Dead Cells. We are back once more and trying out another run. We got close in the last one. We have many a blueprint stored up and ready to go and we'll see what we can get. Ooh, we start out with the Spartan Sandals and not only that, but it's Spartan Sandals with HP recovery and double damage taken. Knocks back at enemies, deals damage if they hit a wall. It's got some spice to it. Victims freeze when they die, inflicts critical at long range. I like the idea. And the amulet. Um, we got poison wounds. Okay, so we, we, we probably want to go purple here. Ooh, there's a, a bloodthirsty shield right there. Okay. I do kind of need to learn how to parry, but I think I'm going to try and... I think I'm going to... Ooh, God. I think I'm going to try and learn that in um, later boss cells, maybe. Boom. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I am just being a loser right now. Okay, do you know what? Kind of worked out, though. It's all right, so what does long range count as? Okay, that seems to count as long range. Boom. Boom. <laughs> the Spartan sandals are so good. Right, so we'll take purple here and see how that goes. I feel like purple's always a good one to go for anyways. Wait, yeah, Spartan Sandals, I think they're pretty good early on, like this stage, but they fall off pretty quick. They do fall off pretty quick. We'll try this out. I want to try and get my 30 kills without taking damage badge thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, okay, so we got this here. Yeah, if I can get my 30 kills without taking damage, which I think is still feasible on this uh, this current setup. I don't know if there's a teleporter over here. I'm just hoping there is good. Um... I think it's still feasible on this setup. There's also a chest up here. I should have just teleported to looking at it now, but what's done is done. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's nice to have the Spartan Sandals for um, healing up a little bit here, but a balanced blade is just so much better. <laughs> really should have maybe used the Spartan Sandals for a little longer, though, just to get my health up there a little bit. Um... What do I want to go for here? Let's let's go all into tactics and just see what we can do with that. I'm not really bothered about making the two minute mark here. Uh, what's this? What we got here? We got... I didn't even get to see what that was. Phaser. Teleport behind an enemy. The next attack inflicts extra damage. Okay, that is purple as well, which is nice. Okay, it works at close range like that, which I wasn't expecting. Rather nice. And we get the biters crawl back from the dead. I really like the biters thing. There you go. And uh, honestly, our bow's doing a pretty good... But bow's doing a pretty good job too. It's killing stuff in one hit for the most part if I can get that long range hit. Which isn't totally difficult. Let's... Wait, did I miss these teleporter things here? Oh, it's these. Okay. I thought they were teleporters. Um, let's just go down from here then. But yeah, the phaser seems like an interesting little setup. I don't know how uh, how revered it is or how, how much people actually like it, but it seems intriguing. Um, the blueprint extractor, I'm going to leave for now. It's, it's kind of decent, but I feel like it's one of those things that's a bit more niche. Like, you don't want to be taking it every single run, especially while you're trying to get your footing with the new boss cells and stuff. And I'm only just learning or acclimating, should I say, to this boss cell. So maybe I shouldn't go uh, taking stuff that requires extra skill and precision to execute. I have this as well. And this had a special ability on it too. Um, victims, uh, sorry, shooting shoots a volley of arrows. Okay, so we've got two speed-related items here, so... Pretty happy. I, I think light speed's a little better in my opinion, or at least I, I tend to use it a little more effectively. I've also got a heavy turret there too. He heavy turret's kind of an interesting one, actually. I might... Do you know what? Let's um let's take the heavy turret instead of phaser. Phaser's interesting, but with light speed in our back pocket, I really don't think we need it. I love that. It's just so cool. And yeah, heavy turret does some, some hefty heckin' damage. We're on 23 kills at the minute. Not get hurt by any bullshit. Invisible enemies are kind of my major weakness right now. Okay, you can do whatever you want to that turret, but it's going to kill you. 
126. There you go. We got that back. What's that? Smoke grenade, maybe? Okay, we hit our 30 kill mark. Nice. We are, we are. <laughs> it's so cool. Right, um, just get this guy. Obviously, we want to get some extra kills anyways. Apparently, there's one guaranteed food every stage. So we can obviously try and uh, get that for ourselves, if possible. Like, one enemy's going to drop us some type of food. So we should maybe uh, clear out the stage and just try and find that food. Um... I haven't seen it yet. At least I don't remember seeing it. Uh, and it would it would better our health a little bit. I'm, I, it's also one of those things where it's like, I don't need to do it. But I feel like it's a good kind of habit to get into. But it looks like we're not finding much here. So I think we'll just, I mean, we'll go to the exit we're closest to, I'll be honest. So we're just going to go to the promenade. Um, I'll take different routes here and there. I still need to get the, um, the slam attack. By the way, remember, I am currently, uh, backlogging these. So, you guys probably have told me in the previous episode how to get the slam attack. Um, I'm sure that you have. I have not currently seen that comment, so I do apologize. I do like to backlog these somewhat. Um, hold to dash through enemies in front of you, uh, inflicting crits. That sounds real cool. 50%, um, damage... Yeah, I think that's pretty good. We'll take that. I quite like the katana anyway, so it's just a fun um, fun one to use. So, we've got quite a lot of different things we could take here. Nothing in particular that I really want off the bat, I'll have to say. Oh, my mouse is on screen. I apologize. Uh, I hope that's not been there the whole time. The repeater crossbow. Rapid fireballs inflict crits to rooted targets. Poisons victims. Um, inflicts crits if the arrow is shot at the right moment. Poisons. Um, let's let's go with the alchemical carbine. Sounds like an interesting one. And then... Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. And then we'll just put the rest into the parry shield, maybe. How about that? And we'll grab that. We'll plop that in there. We'll suck that bad boy up. Oh, actually, I kind, of did, I kind of did that a little wrong, actually. Uh, do I want to upgrade this? Probably not yet. But yeah, what I could have done, if, I think, if I'm thinking about this correctly... Oh, do I not have... Oh, there, there it is. I could have gone with the Acrobat Pack. Attacking with a ranged weapon after rolling. Um, with a ranged weapon in your backpack, fires said projectile. We could have used that with the Alchemical Carbine if I had not destroyed that bird just then. It's kind of stupid of me, but that's fine. Um, hmm... Don't really have something in mind that we want right now. Do you know what? Well, let's go for No Mercy. I've not tried No Mercy yet. Executing enemies at 15% HP essentially um, means that we're going to kill enemies 15% faster, I think. If, I, if I'm thinking about that correctly. So, yeah. Why not? It's a little bit of extra damage. A little bit of extra killing power. It's, it's kind of like having a 15% damage boost across the board, which is good enough for me. I always hate it when it's... Uh, Something like this right off the bat. Yeah, got hit immediately. I see you down here. That's my gem. I love the animations on this katana. Heavy turret, go! And there you go, executed. So, so many of you are just going to blast straight through, but others would get that executed symbol there, knowing... Letting us know that we've uh, got the jump on them. What's down here? I don't actually know what is down here. Boss cell 4 door. Obviously, that's not really of any use to us. And we have this as well. Okay. Oh, it's a shop. Okay. Secret shop. We've got that decoy. This was a decoy seems to be pretty good last time. That's a good, That could be something I use a little more. I'm glad that we've got a lot of more blueprints unlocked. Now, I know I did some of them off camera, but I really just... I think the game shines... When you have the ability to, to grab more stuff like this. Okay. I complete... Oh, my lord. Just did everything wrong then, didn't I? Wow. Okay, we're starting again. Um, 
Yeah, I got hit by that bomb and then tried to dash into that dude. I think it's because I used light speed before I could deal damage to the elite. And I just kind of stood in front of him and let him hit me. It was really dumb. Anyhow, let's continue onwards and try and have a little bit better run. Ooh, crossbow um, off the start is really good. Unlimited ammo, last shot crits. What does that even mean? Um, damage projectiles reduced. Yeah, okay, this is good. Right, so... What's he mean by... Ah, okay, the red one's the crit one, I see. Whoa, we've been killing a guy this whole time. How exactly did I deal this much damage to an enemy that I haven't hit yet? Okay, it seems pretty good. I don't really use melee weapons all that much, so... Getting to use one here is kind of interesting. And we got this here. The Swift Sword inflicts criticals if you have a speed active speed buff. Ooh. I, I know the crowbar is good, but I really like the idea of this thing. Um, when you have active speed buff, you can get some extra bonuses. So let's try it out and see if we can make it work. Getting a lot of shields at the minute. I'm just... I, I know that shields are important to the game, and especially in the later levels, you really want to... Um, you really want to be going ahead with... Uh, you really want to be going ahead with, uh, like, getting your parries and stuff. But I feel like it's kind of just better to, um... It's kind of just better to make sure you're killing stuff quickly than trying to mess around with parrying things. Like, there's a time and a place, definitely. Also, we have the speed buff going on, and it's very nice. Although we need to kill something real quick, otherwise it's gone. I'm going to build into this, to be honest. I like, I really like this. Like, this thing is killing so fast. I mean, I say it's killing fast. It's literally one-shotting. Imagine if the arrows it fired also one-shot. It'd be nuts. We've got a 30, 30 kill mark here. It's kind of what we're looking for. We can even make our two-minute mark if we find a door really quickly. Come on, game. Stop making me miss. Oh, we got another scroll here as well. Wasn't expecting that. I just want to speed to whatever the next exit is. Go, 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 go. This isn't an exit. Heck. Ah, we've lost it. It's right here as well. Damn it. Oh, no, it's, this isn't it. Okay. Doesn't matter then. Uh, Maybe it's this way? Ah, we were just a little bit too late, but whatever. But yeah, as you can see, even now, I'm not really using my bow that much. I tend to just not use secondary weapons all that much. Yeah, this is the way. Let's go this way. Might as well go into the dilapidated librarian, whatever it's called. I can never remember the name of this place, but <laughs> I like going here. And we'll see what we can get from our 30 kill door. 30 kill door is the pretty reliable one, really, or at least we're hoping it should be. We got ourselves the stiletto here. Um, stiletto is one of those ones that I feel like we can't really make much use of early game. The meat skewer first attack pierces enemies. Uh, that's also not great for us. Magnetic. Um, arrows come back. Obviously, we've got a bow with infinite ammo, so that doesn't really matter. Extra damage against stunned. I'll take that, though. I still think that's a, a pretty good grab. I think the magnet grenade can be pretty useful. Right. Go with the repeater crossbow. And then blowgun, I guess. And finish off that. Why not? Put some into there. Blowgun might be pretty good. 80% uh, damage against poison targets. Poison uh, Poisons this victim. Yeah, why not? And it's also red too, which is nice. Well, it's colorless, which makes it red. There you go. Right. Carry on. Ooh, it might actually be worth upgrading this. No, because then we'd lose critical our critical hit bonus. Uh again, I think I'm gonna go I think I'm gonna go for uh for no mercy again. I didn't really get um chance to properly try that out, so I wanna give it a, a good a good test out. Cause it's something it's no mercy's one that 
either didn't exist or I hadn't unlocked the last time I played uh, Dead Cells. And I think I think it's a pretty interesting one. It feels like it just feels like a really good starter. That was close. <gasps> what the hell? Yeah, no thanks. Big mushroom boy. Whoa! Okay, while we've got a speed buff active here, let's uh, take advantage. Oh, I love this. I just, I really like playing fast, and this specifically is like a weapon built for that play style, so I don't know, I love it. Like, I don't know if it's the most effective at later levels, but right now... Boom. Right now, it's serving me so well. Ow, he did hit me, but not for much. Um, do you know what? No, I'm fine. What I've got right now is so much more my style. Okay, boom. I think with like a magnet grenade, the no mercy thing will be really good. Fighters. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh, this thing critting on hits at the back is actually... Oh, God, I can't fit through that gap. I thought I could. Good. Get another one of these. We're going full red, baby. Full red. But yeah, execute. Watch, watch this. It doesn't matter because I've got a speed buff. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to kill those guys in one hit, but I'm not going to complain that I did. Morass of the Banished. Do we want to go there yet? Yeah, that's the question. But, boom. Executes on you. We got what seems to be a chest up here. Oh, no. It's not a chest. Heavy crossbow. Shots explode into a toxic cloud. You don't say... We'll take that at least, because we don't have anything in that slot yet. And we've already established our uh, our love for light speed. I just need to use it a little more cautiously, I think. Use it a little more, um, like, timely, so to say. I don't just want to use it all willy-nilly. Yeah, let's leave this guy. Okay. Should not have done that. I was going to say, let's leave this guy and see how this works out. Turns out if I leave that guy, I uh, get hit by him. Right, what's up here? Not much by the looks of things. Okay, so should we get out of here or should we go... There's a guardian scroll over there. Did I miss that somehow? Whoops. I don't know how I missed that. Let me go grab that real quick. Where the hell was that? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's, it's next to a boss cell one door as well. I don't know how I missed this, I'll be honest. Let's check what's in the boss cell one door. Could be something spicy. It's another shop. Although... Mmm. Yes. Can I have two? No, I can't. <laughs> That'd be great. Okay, I'm actually pretty happy with that purchase there. I think the, uh, the cleaver thing can be really good. With the magnet grenade, it's really, really good. And I think, again, this is, yeah, I was just about to say, it's another thing that works really well with the execution thing we got going on. I think we can get some really, really sneaky little kills out of that. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and go over to the left ways and just, like, go both ways. Oh, beautiful. Got this critting in the back thing's insane. Honestly, just generally poison is doing great. I kind of wish I took the stiletto now, knowing I've got this this thing going on. Like, this is killing it so much. We've hit 30 kills. I don't think 30 kills matters in this area, I'll be honest, but we've hit 30 kills nonetheless. Hey, you got a costume there? Nice. Mushroom boy outfit. Hell yes, I'm unlocking that next. That is my next premiere outfit. 
I'm honestly loving using this. And then we got this as well. Nice little scrolly scroll. Cherries, fair enough. I'll grab them, why not? If no one else is going to take them. Oh my god, you see, you, you can proper play this, like, correctly by getting behind enemies. Look at that. Right behind him. Behind you. And behind you. Guess what? I'm behind you. It's so good. I love this. Guess what? I'm behind you. And you? I'm behind you too. Got the ramparts here. Grab that. What's up here then? Okay, another shot. This one, less so. Less so good. I don't know what the vampirism does. If anyone can tell me how that vampirism works, I'll uh, maybe try it out. It does. It just sets your health to zero, but I don't know why. <laughs> it says it ups my recovery, but I don't know what my recovery is. Okay. Anyways, right now we have a build that I'm in love with. And it's based on literally just the blood art, and that's it. That's all it takes, really. Ooh, the owl. Okay, first of all, let's check this, yeah. So, summons a great owl pet. Activating the skill again will anger the great owl. The great owl disappears if you take any damage. I do kind of like it more than this. Just because it is indeed an owl that I get to have as a pet. I hit 56 kills. I really should have been paying more attention to that. Right, Mushroom Boy outfit's got to be unlocked right now. Can't wait to debut that, that, that little number. Right, Nether Steel gone. Ice Shard seems like it could be really good. Obviously, not really for what we got going on right now. Although, 8% damage to a poison target. Slows enemies down for three seconds, inflicts crits on targets standing in water or covered in oil. Okay, nah, it's not really for us then. But that's a, that's a really cool item nonetheless. Um, we have a bit more money to upgrade now. Hmm. I, I really... It's one of those things that I, I do want to, but losing that 80% damage on poison targets is probably not worth it, right? Let's try and do some stuff with the owl. There you go. Great owl now poisons the enemy. There you go. Great stuff. Like it. And you? Is there anything to do with poison we can get here? Uh, have a little look. See. Uh, melee attacks slow down enemies is always nice. Combo's pretty good. Melee kills reduce skill. Um. Crow's feet's pretty decent. Frostbite's good. Necromancy's okay. Crits for cooldowns pretty good too. Oh, we can go with disengagement actually. Disengagement's always a good one, isn't it? We learned that before. Ooh, one moment. I've got a bunch of messages. Let's see what they're about. Okay, one moment. We need to pause real quick. Right, let's go, let's go. Let us, let, let us continue. But yeah, I think we've got a pretty interesting build here. This is one that, like, I don't think I've really truly used any one part of the of this build on its own in any other build. They're, they're all coming together, this culmination, into something great. And it's kind of weird that we've got this really poison-centric build, but only one of our items actually, uh, like, applies poison by default. Yeah, you can see that 8% extra damage on poison targets is insane right now. Yeah, I'm basically probably going to wait until we get a stiletto for our other main weapon, you know. Get fucked, boys. Oh, ho, ho, the ice rings and everything. Let's go, my bird pal. My birdie boy. Oh, God. 
We've got to remember the owl disappears if we get hit. But this is stacking up like crazy. It's also kind of funny that I believe poison's normally like purple. Or, or even green colored as a skill. But we've got it all red and it's still working just the same. Okay, we can kill that guy pretty easily. I need to I need to use my skills a little more. Rage mode on our owl is actually pretty good, but more so the source, because it generates a cloud around it. I think that's pretty important for us. There you go. Got you, and then oh, that enemy that can shoot us through walls. But just look at the chain reactions we've got going on now. This is genuinely quite beautiful. Like, I, I, it might, it might like drop off a little bit at some point. I don't know. It's feeling pretty good right now. Feeling pretty good right now. It's just so easy to get behind enemies. So it just, it's like, we can crit so often. Okay, grab this. We want to just grab the highest health value, really. Actually, no, let's grab purple, because that's going to affect our owl. We want at least some going on for the owl. We don't need to be all the way, but... Yeah, we don't need to be all the way, but having just a little bit of a helping hand there. Just look at this. Go into rage mode, my boy. And execution plus poison is, is one of my new favorite combos. It might not be that strong, but it feels pretty good. Nice. I do wonder how it's going to fare against the boss. Okay, that didn't go too well, but we killed him in the end. Not sure if we're close to the exit or not. Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Powerful grenade. I'm just going to scoop that up straight away. Scoop did a whoop. I'm really happy with the build we've got right now. It's very diverse. It's, it's very poison-centric. It's got some really cool intricate synergies going on. I like it a lot. Hey, there you go. Gotta pump it up. Don't you know, pump it up. Right, boss man, it's almost time. Where are you? The preemptive strike there. Look at that! Look at that! Those enemies were through a wall and we just killed every single one of them. Just gorgeous. And there's that. Right, let's uh, do this and throw one of these in. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I think I think we're going to have a pretty good time against the boss, especially with the saw blades. They, the saw blades recharge really fast, and they apply bleed and poison, so that's going to be where I think we get them. Wait until he turns around. Roll on through. Crit that bad boy. Oh god, out of ammo. That is one problem that we might come across every now and again. Um, technically, this is better because we get the 5% damage reduction. We don't have that on our other amulet right now. Hello, shop. Ooh, new owl. <laughs> Shots pierce all enemies. Ooh, damn. We've also got the barnacle. Who's enemies who pass beneath it? Ah, that's pretty cool. That's like the one from Half-Life. Nice little Half-Life item there. I'll make our way back to the surface. With this, I think the next area will be our boss. Oh my god, I jumped right off the chain there. It's off the chain. Wait, no, is it not? And you are also dead. How many kills are we on right now? We're on 93. Hot diggity damn. It's like the highest I've ever had it. Do we get anything special for reaching 100? Okay, 
Get that in there. Get that in there. That in there. Are you gonna die, sir? Shield buddy? No, we're at 100 now. Okay, get that in there on you. My god. It just feel I just feel so powerful. The game's making me feel things. That was close. Oh my god, that was very close. It's, it's, I just like that we can fire one dart and then bugger off. We're on 114. That's the highest I've ever got. That's beautiful. Now, that'll swiftly end when we get to the boss, I assure you. Doubt we're going to no-hit the boss. But we get into this door quite easily. Nope. That is technically better than what we got right now, yeah. Even without the double jumps. Right. Bad light gun. Oh, my mouse is on screen again. Stop, mouse. Go away. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff going on here. That would be good. Max its target to make hard light sword deal critical damage. What? Wait a minute. But we don't have the hard light sword. Is a person be able to get the gun on its own? How did I? How did I even achieve that? I don't know. Anyways, we have it. Right. Um. This is the question now. Damage if I next to deployed skills. Damage if I'm not near anything. Ammo, maybe? Doubled ammo? I'll go for doubled ammo for now. I don't know how good doubled ammo even is as a as an upgrade. It doesn't seem like it's that good, but we did run out that one time, and I feel like a boss is a situation where I could easily run out. I don't really know. In fact, I don't even know how it works on bosses, I'll be honest. Already got hit. It also very much seems like we're not getting our ammo back. Wait, do I do I get ammo back by rolling through him? It seems like it. Is that the case? I don't actually know. No, it's over time, I think. Seemingly it's over time. Okay, my owl got disappeared because of, um... Go into rage mode, owl boy. Ooh, good hit. There you go. Boss executed. Okay. I forgot it also works on bosses. There you go. Very, very nice. And we got ourselves the, uh, machete and pistol. Don't really need that. The Crusher's pretty good, but not really for our build right now. Although it could work quite well with the Sawblades. Anyways, let's leave to the next area. Easily made it through this door. Nice. Yeah, I don't think we need anything from here, do we? Let's go. Right, the question is, with the amount of money that I have now... Do I try and upgrade things? I really should try and switch out my sword. Like, do I try and upgrade this? I think I should, yeah. I need that modifier, though. It already poisons the enemy game. Oh, come on. Extra damage inflicted, extra damage taken. Damn you. We just lost a bunch of damage because of that. That's a real shame. I spent all my money too, which isn't good. Let's reset our mutations. Let's go for the extra damage. 
Then we go for... Disengagement and No Mercy. Yeah, I thought the ammo would help on the boss. It didn't really. Oh. Where the hell did I just go? I did not mean to come here. I do not know what I'm in for. I just saw an elevator, went up it, and just kind of left it at that. This is, um... Probably gonna be the death of me, because I do not know where I am. What is this? What? Um, where, where am I? Oh, Lord. Well, isn't this something? Get my owl in this bitch. The music here is pretty dope, though. I'll say that, sure. But I'm a bit confused. Whoa, what are you? Whoa, there's traps and everything. Whoa, he lobbed a spear at me. What the heck? I don't know if these naughty, naughty crow boys do anything, but I'm scared. Okay, we executed you. We've got a chest room here. It's a curse chest. Do you know what? I I know I don't know this area, but I think I I think I have to take curse chests. Because someone said to me in one of the comments recently, curse chests are one of those things where they seem bad, but it forces you to play like your life depends on not getting hit. And in the later boss cells, my life is going to depend on me not getting hit. So, you... So, we really should be, uh... Testing this out. I'm really scared by these crows, i got to admit. Okay, five enemies left. Oh my god. There's big enemies. There's beefy enemies here. Three enemies left. One enemy left. We did it! Cares lifted. Hell yeah. Seemingly doing okay. I feel like I'm getting better at the game. Could just be complete luck. But I feel like I'm getting better at dodge rolling at least. Whoa, hello. That's an enemy. Okay. We can handle him. I don't know what he does, but we can handle him. We did indeed handle him, and it... What is this? Hello, ma... What? Woo, we get some legendary stuff. Legendary Ice Bow. We get the legendary Broadsword. And we get the legendary Double Crossbow and Matic. Hmm. The DPS on this is quite a bit higher than my DPS on this. I'll take this, even though it is slow as all hell. Oh, shit. I didn't realize you were... No! Oh, you can teleport! I didn't know that, you boober. This execute thing is proccing like all the time on this run. I love it. Okay, let me grab this. Haha. -ha. Okay, so it seems like a good mix of like normal weaker enemies and some of these much, much harder ones. Either way, I seem I I, I like this area. You seem to be doing decently well in, in here. Yeah, he hit me with that. That's that's fair, though. I was kind of not really paying attention, I'll be honest. Seemingly, we've got another big boy. That is a very, very lengthy attack pattern you've got there. Ammo stuck in this enemy. Yeah, I see that. It's okay, though. We got him. Ooh, new blueprint. The Iron Staff. Should we heal? Yeah, I think we should heal. 
We've got more heals coming our way soon, so let's not fret. Um, okay. I'm not quite sure where I'm meant to be going now at this point. I seem to have reached an impasse. Oh, there's another door here, I see. Hello, what is all this? Hmm. Okay. That was just a law room this time, though. Okay, so what am I missing? There's clearly something I've missed. Wait, there's, there's crows coming from this way. Does that mean I've got to go that way? I s seemingly not. My mouse keeps appearing. It's very annoying. Uh, up here, maybe? Let's try that out. Yeah, this is the way we can go, so... That almost got me there. Oh, no, no. Just realized what those things do. Okay, I need to get my owl back out again because I got hit. Come to life, my owl boy. Another chest here. Not, not a curse chest this time, though. Okay. Possibly a better owl. Um, it's not. It's not a better owl. Our owl is better. I'm sorry, owl. You've been destroyed. Okay, we have to go back through this way. Hello, snake boy. Okay, let's not fall here. Okay. We're, we're a new area now. That guy just fell to his death. That guy's a goober. Just fire a bunch of poison arrows and get on with your business. It's great. I thought I'd lost a bunch of damage on this thing, but actually, it's going quite well. Got a lizard outfit here. Pop on down. See what's what over here. Oh, it's a trap. What the heck? I've never seen this before. I mean, we killed them all, but... That's something that's new. <laughs> a trapped chest. Is that like exclusive to boss cell doors or can that happen at any point? It's kind of scary. Oh, you. That was good. Did not see that one coming. I'm loving the stage though. What the hell? I need to come here more often. This stage is awesome. Do, do the big old rings of uh, rings of electric scary I don't know where I'm meant to be going mind you, I'm just kind of trending upwards and hoping that that's the but considering we're in the sky I think upwards, oh god I think upwards is the right way inventory bar Yeah, this seems to be the right way. Hmm, okay, we found this. What's over here? The Undying Shore. Interesting. Okay, we can't get in there yet, but that's fine. So I guess we ride this down. And this enters the clock tower. Okay. I like that. That I'm going to go to that area more often. I really liked that area of the game. That is a biome that I can get behind. I don't know what people think of that in, in terms of difficulty. But for me, that was not too bad. We also got the iron staff here. And the cultist costume. Do you have a minute to talk about a lord and savior? Costs one. The first hit allows you to parry melee hits. The combo inflicts critical hits after the successful parry. Okay. We unlock the lizard outfit as well. Right, okay. 80% to poisoned. Um, do you know what? Let's try this out, shall we? Yeah, it seems, seems decent enough. 
Right. Do we want to keep reforging this bad boy? Let's try it. Victims release a toxic cloud when they hit. That's good enough for me, actually. Okay, unfortunately not a full refresh there. Where does this go? <laughs> no, 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 no. Up to the clock tower we go. It's going to be a long run, but hey her. Sometimes they're, sometimes they're just like that, aren't they? All right, let me check my messages one second. Cool, let's carry on. I don't know how good this um, Iron Staff's going to end up being for us, but we don't really need it that much anyways. It's kind of more of a backup measure than anything else. Let's just hope we can navigate this area in a, in a timely manner this time around. I was a bit iffy whether that's actually going to be the case or not. Thought it was a bit random. Seemingly. Okay. Go up here first. What? Ooh, out of ammo. Okay, I did I did realize that I lowered my ammo account a good amount. Gonna have to kind of play around that. My mouse is on screen again. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the toxic cloud on hit is going to be pretty good, but I still wish I had the bonus toxic damage. That would be preferable. Oh, also get my bird out. Oh, fuck. I'm going to take a lot of damage if I'm not careful here. In fact, I did take a lot of damage. Had to use my potion there. Real quick. Boss sell one door here. Check it out. The shop. We don't have much money right now. So yeah, we can't even afford anything in there. I'm sorry, shop man. There's so many shop boys in this place. Or does is it one guy that moves around, or is it like many different shop people? I'm really not sure. Right. Quit. Quit. And I'm. This is feeling very much like the wrong way, but I'm gonna keep going. Dude, I'm getting hit so much on this area. The enemies just have so much more health now. The spike shield. Attacking just after parrying inflicts 3% damage. Inflicts major damage on a blocked enemy. Um, absorbs 7% of damage while held up. Maybe try this and then go... Seems good enough. That was so stupid. I did it again. Oh my, am I going to die here? Okay, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. That's partially why I'm getting hit so much. Yeah, this, this, um, this can't, oh, I actually got the key on the first go here. Nice. Right. Now we're just going to find the exit. Although, I'd be remiss if I didn't check up here and make sure it's not up here. I don't think it can be, but if it could, yeah, I'd be annoyed myself. Let's go down here. Hey, got that parry. Gotta try and remember to hit enemies from behind. Hit it from the back and... Grab them wide. I do think I need to heal up again, though. Just in case. It's not a great idea, because we might not get a full heal after this. I think we will, but I'm not actually sure. Oh my god, look at that. It's those enemies, they've got a lot of health. Oh, for fuck's sake, I slipped. Okay, where am I going? I'm really trying my very best to parry. This is why I don't use shields. The moment I pick one up, I'm absolutely floundering. I'm trying to parry whenever I can, but it's just not working. All right, good, good. Ah, fuck. 
good, good. Hey, get another scroll from this dude. Okay. Oh, we, we actually got, we actually made our way to the clock tower here. Nice. Wasn't expecting that, but we just about did it. We just about did it. Un momento, por favor. Okay, let's continue. Let's try and do this boss. Hopefully we get a full heal here, because if not, I'm going to be in a bit of a rough spot. Mouse on the screen again. Mouse on the screen. Right. I'm just going to break through. Why not? Uh, yeah, I, I definitely regret taking the uh, the shield. Especially now that I'm on a boss. Yeah, in fact, have I killed myself by taking a shield into this? Because I can't get ammo back now, right? <laughs> hmm. I'll see how this works. I, I have a feeling I might die, though. <laughs> Hello, timekeeper. Right. Because the thing is, the owl's not going to stay out for very long. Uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just perpetually out of ammo here. Ah, shit. I block- I can't- I'm kind of blocking him, but it's not really working. Oh shit. Damn it, I'm so bad at parrying. <laughs> Somebody save me, what have I done? <laughs> How have I ruined this run so spectacularly? I parried that though. Okay, the let's finish this bit might, uh, might put me in a bad way. My god. This is like such focus mode. Heal! 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 Oh my god, this is so desperate. Fuck me! Wait, I, I got him! Okay. Holy shit, that was difficult. <laughs> oh my god. How did I beat him there? That was absolute pure. Panic. Give me a... Okay. We got a weapon. Wait, no. Sorry, shield, but you just don't cut it for us right now. We gotta, we gotta have it like that. And we also actually got a new blueprint as well. Nice. Boy, that's, uh... <laughs> Put us in a bad way. Hello there. Right, let's crack that bad boy open. And then put a few of that on there. I kind of like that concierge outfit too. Get rid of that for now. Right, do we get a full heal here? We do. Okay, that's good. Puts, us in me, puts me in a slightly better spot here. I'm still not super confident though. Oh, I've done it again. I didn't mean to go here. I mean, it's good to explore, but apparently this area is really hard. <laughs> Looks awesome, though. My God. Um, what is that? What? Oh, I see, I see. That was a bit confusing, but we got there in the end. Okay, so it does have some regular enemies in it too, which is nice to see. We also got a heavy crossbow there as well. Whoa, what the hell? There's like a walking barrel there? What the fuck? I'm scared. I'm very scared. There is just like these barrels tumbling from every direction. This is Danky Kang. I feel like I'm doing okay, though. I've not been hit yet. Doesn't mean I'm doing well, I suppose. Just means I've gotten lucky. There's a lot of invisible barrel enemies. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a lot of damage. Oh my god, disengagement just saved me. These things are everywhere. What the hell? Whoa. These enemies are nuts. 
<laughs> I kind of love this. I know I'm going to die in here, but my god, I, I, I love this sort of stuff. Okay, so we need a distillery key here. The heck? Scribbled note shows us not much, although, what the hell? How was that? Hello, you. Oh god, that was close. Okay. We got some healing here. Whoa, that was a lot of healing. My lord. How on earth do we get barrels all the way over to these doors? Whoa. Oh, like that, I suppose. Can I, like, just keep bouncing these? Oh, my God. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, for fuck's sake. I keep walking to these barrels. Heal, heal, heal. Oh, my God. Oh. No. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of fun, though. God damn, I probably could have beaten him, the boss, if I'd have gone the right way. But all in all, I got to see two brand new uh, biomes I've not seen before, and I really enjoyed fighting through them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nonetheless, despite our failure. I think that was actually a pretty good run. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.